Okay, until others don't. Any, any questions? Let others also join so that we can start. Any questions on the previous session? Okay, no questions, we can start our session. Hope you are uh, able to see my screen. Okay, uh, we have seen uh, the nature of uh, strategic planning. So now we'll, we'll see uh, what are the essentials or the ev uh, evolution essential of a good strategic uh, planning. Essentials in the sense, how you effective your plan, how accurate your plan, uh, how, uh, uh, what do you call, reasonable your plan towards the implementation. If you see here, internal uh, consistency, so the factors governing will be for a good strategic planning. So consistency in the sense, you are maintaining it uh, properly. There is no uh, changes in your plans. So you are maintaining your flow, whatever the, the basic requirements while uh, creating a plan. Then consistency with the environment. Environment we have seen, it is about the future requirement, legal requirement, procedures, plans, financial strategies, or your customer requirements or client requirements or internal employee relations, all it is about the your environment, in the sense your condition, condition in the company condition. And appropriate time horizon, so you are uh, defining uh, detailed uh, times for each output of your uh, plan. Then realistic, the realistic in the sense your plan can be implemented so there is no uh, this thing that you have just made a plan which is unreal or unrealistic which is unable to implement and plan the solutions which are not able to implement or unable to implement those solutions or plans will be comes under unrealistic those cannot be implemented then acceptable degree of risk in case of any risk is there you should be able to uh, accept it and then a feasibility feasibility in the sense the availability or able to access or able to accept the changes during the implementation these are the essentials of planning okay now we'll see a need of a strategic planning why we need this strategic plans what is the importance of it if you see the need of this 
plan or advantages of this plan, the strategic planning will be helps in facing environmental or future challenges. Environment ante intente simply we can say that it will be about the condition of your company. It will be talking about your requirement of the company and provides a direction. So why we do planning? You will get an idea about our future requirement. So whether we can invest or, or we can't invest or we can go with a new plan or we can go with the existing requirement itself. That is the based on the planning we will get direction. If we are planning we will get the direction of the direction. Then improved functioning. So planning will end. We will improve our activities. Then exploiting favorable opportunities. Exploiting in the sense we will be identifying the the favorable opportunities like getting more business or reduced incidents or reduced uh, compensations etc all this will be happens because of good strategic planning then minimizing of changes of mistakes or losses with the planning what will happen we can able to minimize the changes or we can able to reduce the loss as is, as i said proper planning there we can able to reduce our mistakes and also we can reduce our loss for example you have made your safety training calendar so you are implemented properly. So now everybody got a well versed with your planning. Or everybody undergone through your training. So what will happen? You will get or you will reduce the accidents so that it got implemented. And also due to resulting the accidents have been reduced. That is the output of your requirement. Or you got your results out of the training. Then effective or efficient utilization of resources like time, money, talent and also equipment. So, you have a basic planning so that based on the plan, you are able to use or effectively use the resources what you are having. Resources are very important, so which can be used to the maximum without losing the or wasting the resources. Mudisarakulagani, e resources on your watni, proper use chase call. Then effective coordination control. Because of planning, you will get an effective control or you will get proper command on your operations or the trainings or on your future plans. Then Competitive strength. So you have in a proper planning, you will get a, a competitive strength. You know how to uh, deal with your competitors or how you can maintain your market or maintain your business in the market. So all these things will be happens with a proper, a good planning. If you are not having proper good plan, so all these things will not be feasible or these things will not be happen with your organization. That's why we need strategic planning. 
again if you see the process again there have a, a steps in strategic planning so one is like uh, decide the mission or long term objectives which is nothing but a, your problem or uh, future requirement and conduct and analyze your relevant information so first entity man one long term objective identify item then uh, collect and analyze the relevant information yedey thaniki information kavalo dani collect cheyatamo analyze cheyatamo then assess the environmental and risk factors so indlo unde environment sambandhinchina kani risk factors ane identify cheyatamo then conduct uh, resource audit so resource audit in the sense self appraisal resource audit may be maybe your of employees or the technology which is available uh, in your organization and also we can see the uh, resources which you are importing from the other countries so you can understand where we are exactly by doing your self assessment and internally ga meekunna resources ni assess cheyatam whether we can able to manage the next 2 years or 3 years like we had an a bad experience with the pandemic covid so many of the companies have been closed down because of unavailability of raw materials or which is uh, they are importing from various other countries so which is not uh, which is which is not happened during the pandemic so they got to shut down their operations the similar way we have to assess the resources uh, with us so to understand our internal uh, capabilities then we have to think about Uh, the st uh, strategic alternatives as i seen uh, as we seen the alternatives will be will will have a uh, couple of plans which are uh, the plan a and plan b and plan c so initially we will be choosing out of these three uh, which will be the best uh, suitable plan for the current situation then we can implement that plan in in case the plan a fails so we'll we'll choose the plan b so definitely we should have a plan b for the the objective which we have chosen then uh, select the alternatives like as we have seen we should have an alternative then we'll we'll take in the best of three then we'll make a decision then implement and control so once you have chosen your plan out of the all the alternatives then you'll start implementing it so that will be implementation and control okay ఇవి మనకి ప్లానింగ్ లో ఉంటాయి ఒకటి మీ అబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ని డిఫైన్ చేయటము తర్వాత మీ దగ్గర ఉన్న ఇంటర్నల్ డేటాని అసెస్ చేయటము ఆర్ డేటాని కలెక్ట్ చేయటము తర్వాత మీ దగ్గర ఉన్న రిసోర్సెస్ ని అంటే మీ దగ్గర ఉన్న వనరుల్ని మీరు ఆడిట్ చేయటము మనకి సఫిషియంట్ వనరులు మన దగ్గర ఉన్నాయా లేదా దెన్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ అంటే డిఫరెంట్ ప్లాన్స్ మనము డెవలప్ చేయటము దాని తర్వాత అందులో ఒక దాన్ని చూస్ చేసుకొని ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేసి దాన్ని కంట్రోల్ చేయటం ఇన్ కేస్ ఎనీ చేంజెస్ ఆర్తే హౌ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కంట్రోల్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా మనకి స్ట్రాటజిక్ ప్లానింగ్ యొక్క ఉండే స్టెప్స్ ఓకే విత్ దిస్ వి హ్యావ్ డన్ దిస్ ప్లానింగ్ టాపిక్ మెయిన్ వైల్ ఐ లో ఓపెన్ ది అదర్ టాపిక్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ యూ కెన్ ఆస్క్ జస్ట్ కి మే అట్ ఐ లో ఓపెన్ ది అదర్ సెషన్ సో యాజ్ సంబడి ఆస్ట్ అహ్మద్ ఆస్ట్ what kind of questions may come so the questions may be they may ask us to explain what is mean by strategic planning as of now we we didn't have a question like what is mean by uh, like uh, short term plan or mid term plan medium term plans or there's or uh, if at all it comes it will come as a short question mostly we have seen uh, what is mean by strategic planning uh, nature of strategic planning or uh, what is the importance of planning in uh, safety and which are the areas the planning can be chosen or the planning can be implemented so those kind of questions we got as of now so the next topic will be another function which is called uh, organizing one second and let's share
Any questions you can put in chat box. Okay. Uh, can anybody confirm? Are you able to see my screen? Organizing for safety. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Novin. The organizing, it is also uh, the function of the uh, top management, which is a function nothing but Valayaka activity. It is also a, one of the activity of the uh, management organizing. So here, we'll see what um, a top management will do in part of organizing. So if you see here, uh, organization is defined as a structure and process by which a cooperative group of human beings allocates its task among its members, identifies relationship, and integrates its activities towards the common objectives. So this is called the definition of organization. And day in day in day, it is defined as a structure and process by which cooperative groups of being allocated to its task among its members relationships it is nothing but okay organization law any departments on a departments much alone a relation entity while it is a panel entity so what will be the the final outcome of those all the departments which is nothing but towards the common objectives it is a structure or a process by which a cooperative groups of their allocated task among their members identifies their relationship. For example, the relationship between production and store, the relationship between maintenance and production, the relationship between purchase and production. It is nothing but how you are defining your organization and the, the linkage between the various departments you are handling. If you see the main points to follow the above definition will be a business unit is divided into a different sections or departments. Day in day, this is the organization. Sections, the departmental segregate. Each section or department is assigned to define a function or duty. So, each section and the department again section again, they'll have their uh, roles or responsibilities. And the authority and responsibility of each section or department or group of people are clearly defined. Already we have seen what is mean by authority, what is mean by responsibility, whether those have been properly defined or not. Then the internal or relationship among the various departments and among the groups of the people working in them is clearly specified. So internal relationship and in the purchase department, how it is related with the production. What is the process flow for this? Process flow in the sense How an organization will be purchasing the goods. For example, a production guy need in a certain raw material. So how he will approach the purchase department? Initially, he will raise an indent or purchase requisition request. Then it will go to the store. They will check the availability of the material. Then they will confirm saying that there is no stock in the store then it leads to purchase then purchase department will be looking for the suitable suppliers based on the requirement then they will send it to purchase order then they will purchase so these are all interrelationship must be defined from the various groups even you would know Internal defense, yes, sir. Then, the department key, much lona 
రిలేషన్ అనేది ఎలా ఉంటుంది అని చెప్పేసి సి హౌ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ సింప్లీ దేర్ ఆర్ వేరియస్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ అండ్ వేరియస్ డిజిగ్నేటెడ్ పీపుల్ విల్ బి దేర్ దే విల్ బి కోఆర్డినేటింగ్ అండ్ దే విల్ బి వర్కింగ్ టువర్డ్స్ ఏ కామన్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ దెన్ సేఫ్టీ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ సేఫ్టీ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ కెన్ బి డిఫైండ్ యాజ్ ఎ స్ట్రక్చర్ and uh, process by which uh, groups of people are divided into sections or departments and each section or department is assigned a specific safety function if you see in other organization definition there it will be talking about their functions or activities or interrelationship in safety organization here we are talking about the safety function or duty and the difference and the means difference here ప్రీవియస్ క్వశ్చన్ డెఫినేషన్లో మనకి డిఫరెన్స్ ఏంటంటే అక్కడ వాళ్ళు చేసే పనుల గురించి మాట్లాడుతుంటాము సేఫ్టీ ఆర్గనైజేషన్లో ఏంటంటే సేఫ్టీకి సంబంధించినవి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒక మేనేజర్ ఉన్నాడు అనుకోండి ప్రొడక్షన్ మేనేజర్ సేఫ్టీలో ఆయన రోల్ ఏంటి బికాస్ సేఫ్టీ ఈస్ ఎవ్రీబడీస్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రోల్ ఆఫ్ ఎ ప్రొడక్షన్ మేనేజర్ ఇన్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ సేఫ్టీ అథారిటీ అండ్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ ఎవ్రీబడీ ఈస్ క్లియర్లీ డిఫైన్డ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఇంటర్ రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ దెమ్ ఈస్ స్పెసిఫైడ్ ఫర్ అకాంప్లిష్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ సేఫ్టీ గోల్స్ అంటే ఓవరాల్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ సేఫ్టీ గోల్కి వీళ్ళు మీట్ అవుతున్నారా లేదని దాని గురించి ఈ సేఫ్టీ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ని డిఫైన్ చేస్తారు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వర్కర్ యొక్క సేఫ్టీ రోల్స్ అండ్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీస్ అంటే ఏంటి ఈ హ్యాస్ టు యూస్ సేఫ్టీ PPEs all the time supervisor he has to monitor all the workers or following the all the safety procedures or processes then manage in case of any sorry manager manager what he will see he will see for either all the people have been trained or not whoever the employees which are with him whether they are trained or not all these things a manager will check like the way about the safety goals the people have been trained or the people have been explained or not will be checked then need significance of organization the organization is the foundation or framework of the whole structure of the management and uh, contributes greatly to success and continuity of an enterprise in the uh, following ways significance and then the importance what is the main importance of organization what is the use of this organization what happens is facilitates administration and other functions of the management process administration and entity it will be making the relation or it is defining the functions or it is defining the duties and department ni create cheyatam vaadu madhyalo unna relations ni maintain cheyatam or it is defining the uh, roles and responsibilities of the people and facilitates growth and uh, diversification idi enti growth ante internal ga employees promotion ki ఇది అవ్వడానికి ఉపయోగపడుతుంది తర్వాత డైవర్సిఫికేషన్ డైవర్సిఫికేషన్ అంటే ఒక డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నుంచి ఇంకొక డిపార్ట్మెంట్కి లేదంటే ఒక బిజినెస్ నుంచి ఇంకో బిజినెస్కి మనం డైవర్సిఫై చేయడానికి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇంటర్నల్గా దే ఆర్ మేకింగ్ ఓన్లీ కెమికల్స్ దెన్ దే హ్యావ్ ఎంటర్డ్ ఇన్ టు ఆటోమొబైల్ ఆర్ దెన్ దే హ్యావ్ ఎంటర్డ్ ఇన్ టు పెట్రోకెమికల్ లైక్ దాట్ దెన్ పర్మిట్స్ ఆప్టిమమ్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజికల్ ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్స్ సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మేస్ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ అలోస్ ఆర్ పర్మిట్స్ అంటే ఏంటి టెక్నాలజికల్ ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్స్ని యూజ్ చేసుకోవడానికి ఇది ఉపయోగపడుతుంది జో బీ జో టెక్నాలజికల్ ఆప్షన్స్ హే అప్నే పాస్ ఉస్కో ప్రాపర్లీ యూజ్ కర్నే కెలియ ఏ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ యూజ్ అవుతాయి దెన్ ఎంకరేజెస్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ సో వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ హియర్ ద పీపుల్ కెన్ బీ మోటివేటెడ్ ఆర్ ద పీపుల్ కెన్ బీ ఎంకరేజ్డ్ టు డూ డూ ది ద గుడ్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ ద ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్స్ స్టిమ్యులేట్స్ క్రియేటివిటీ సో ఆర్గనైజేషన్ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ ఇట్ విల్ మోటివేట్స్ ద పీపుల్ to increase or to increase the 
the new thoughts or ideas of the people attains maximum efficiency with minimum cost so what will happen it will try to get maximum output from the with a minimum cost simply ga cheppalante idi manaki department create cheyadam vaatu majjalo unde activities ni gaani roles and responsibilities define cheyadam ku upayogapadutundi tarvata employees ledha organization growth gurinchi upayogapadutundi then maximum utilization of technology optimum utilization ante ante gantaku minchi dan nunchi manu output annu theelemu that is the maximum utilization of improvement then internal employees ni encourage cheyadam then stimulates creativity creativity ni evaraithe uh, who comes with new ideas it is going to be activate their pulses then attains maximum efficiency ante ekkuva labalni takkuva kharch toti ela theesravalo ante maniki upayogapadutundi then nature characteristics of organization briefly they can be stated the vt yokka organization yokka nature ela untundi ante it is in a సెట్ అప్ టు రియలైజ్ ది ఆబ్జెక్టివ్స్ అవర్ కామన్ పర్పసెస్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ కామన్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ఎవ్రీబడి ఈస్ వర్కింగ్ ఫర్ వన్ కామన్ గోల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ కోఆపరేటివ్ యాక్టివిటీ కోఆపరేటివ్ యాక్టివిటీ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ ఎవ్రీబడి హ్యాస్ టు వర్క్ టుగెదర్ దెన్ ఓన్లీ వీ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు అచీవ్ అవర్ కామన్ గోల్ then it is a process or function or structure both organization adi oka function group of people untaru idu oka structure structure ela cheptamu manaku oka organization structure anedi untundi and and i already we have discussed in first day of the topic and division into departments or groups or division of labor organization one of characteristics enti idi divide cheyabadindi division into a departments or groups or division of labor and em avutundante ikkada organization ni departments laga vidadesi okokka organization ki or ledana okokka department ki vaalla yokka roles anne danni define cheyatam then delegation of authority and responsibility then chain of supervisor or superior or subordinate relationship in known as a chain of command ikkada em chestamo here we'll talk about the delegation evaraithe manaki employees unnaro how you are delegating your authority to your subordinate it will happens with the organization it will happen in the organization the importance of human element it talks about the the importance of humans in an organization then vertical and horizontal relationship between man to man job to job and department to department so vertical and horizontal relationship vertical and horizontal relationship in the sense vertical relationship will be like how you are uh, reporting structure ante mee department yokka structure enti first ever uh, head of the department then manager assistant manager or engineers then it will come to the worker and horizontal relationship will be departments safety department production department quality department instrumentation department projects it hr like that that will be the horizontal relationship vertical will be the structure or the levels of your department then it is closely linked with planning other functions of the management are not possible without organization as we seen planning is the primary function planning anedi manaki modati యాక్టివిటీ అయితే దాంతో పాటు మనకి ఈ ఆర్గనైజింగ్ కూడా మనకి లింక్ అయ్యి ఉంటుంది వితౌట్ ఆర్గనైజింగ్ ద అదర్ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ ఎందుకు బికాస్ ఈ ప్లానింగ్ ఆర్గనైజింగ్ వల్ల మనకి మనుషుల్ని మనం లోపలికి తీసుకుని రావటము సో వాళ్ళ యొక్క రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీని డిఫైన్ చేయటము దాని తర్వాత ఫర్దర్ యాక్టివిటీస్ అనేవి మనకి స్టార్ట్ అవుతూ ఉంటాయి దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫ్లెక్సిబుల్ అండ్ ఆల్సో అకామిడేట్స్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ చేంజెస్ అగైన్ సేమ్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ చేంజెస్ production orders legal requirements or availability of raw material availability of technology all this will be comes under environmental changes then it is stable and uh, resist challenges 
సో ఇది స్టేబుల్గా ఉంటుంది సో ఏబుల్ టు రెసిస్ ది ఛాలెంజెస్ అండ్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ సూపర్విజన్ కంట్రోల్ అండ్ రివ్యూ సో బై ఆర్గనైజింగ్ యూ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు సూపర్వైజ్ యువర్ యాక్టివిటీస్ అండ్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ మెకానిజం ఆఫ్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ then provides uh, channels of communication so by doing proper organizing you can able to establish the channels of communication either oral or electronic media or by meetings or by sending a letters etc and provides policies procedures rules and regulations for systemic functioning so once we have defined the departments then there a point of what procedures they have to follow so the organizing function will defines about or it will talks about the requirement of policies the requirement of procedures for the proper functioning of each department so definitely we'll have procedures in our company mana company procedures untai uh, how a maintenance function will work how hr department should work how safety department should work what is their roles and responsibilities that is about the provide policies procedures rules and regulations of systemic planning or function then backbone of management and also generates everything from the beginning so it is the backbone function for the management for the starting of the activities and it regenerates everything from the beginning in the sense it will starts from the the day to day activities of the each department and also each individual to work towards the common objectives it is nothing but definition of our departments or then like this if you see in a line and staff organization here we are defining about the various uh, uh, departments and various uh, people or designations in the company how they are reporting it is simply about the how a organization will have their organization structure okay and any departments untai okokka department yokka role enti ivanni maatladukuntaru okay i am stopping here so from next class we will discuss from this slide principle of organization okay we have another uh, one minute if you have any questions we can discuss you have any question you just raise your hand or put in chat box so i'll unmute yes lokesh just minute yes lokesh ok sir meer ipudu unmute chesi maatladandi sir id bss lo e topic kind vastadi entandi bss lo e topic kind vastadi ess bss lo e topic kind vastadi idi mee voice ardham kada okka sari chat box lo pedtara ha ah, okay okay ha 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 yeah you will you will get the material uh, and i do malle and i do you will get the material okay sir